every now and then I'll say to myself, what's Holly doing now? What's Holly up to? And, and if I don't know, then I play with that a little bit on a morning walk or on the treadmill or something like that. And eventually, she seems to turn up again. Jerome, this is Holly. It's a pleasure to meet you, Holly. Private investigator Holly Gibney, played here by Justine Loop, first appeared in Mr. Mercedes, a Stephen King mystery turned into a TV series. I was just wondering if it would still be a pleasure for you to meet me, but this time with your left hand. Holly's got an OCD thing going on, you know. She's the kind of person who would have to straighten a picture in a hotel room. I'm also a kind of person who straightens pictures in strange hotel rooms, so there's a little bit of Holly in me. Are you itching to adjust something in here right now? No, I, everything looks pretty much on the level to okay. me. So <laughs> We can fix after always. But you know what? There's, there's a little bit of Holly in everybody, so... I think so. By now, Holly has been in five of King's works, including another adapted for TV and most recently played by Cynthia Erivo in HBO's The Outsider. Made out of influenza. So you're going to pull some Holly-style strange genius business uh, on me? But Holly's never had her own vehicle. In King's latest, Holly's on the hunt for a sadistic husband and wife snatching up kids in a small town. They're a pair of elderly academics, uh, Rodney and Emily Harris, uh, who are, happen to be serial killers, and they have a cage in their basement. Like every other King book, none of it was planned. As far as knowing where the story goes or plotting it, I don't do that. I can't. Why? I'm no good at it. I mean, I understand the attraction of a mystery story by Agatha Christie. But to me, they're almost like jigsaw puzzles. They're fun, they're interesting, but then ultimately they're, they're forgettable. You never plotted one book. Ugh, I'm writing one now that's got a plot to it. Or Just, plotted, I mean, it's in terms of mapped it out, I mean, or no, outlined it. No, no, I don't outline. The horror in Holly plays out during what was already a scary, confusing time that most of us would rather just forget, the COVID years. King's never had it, but he has battled other issues. Alcoholism and a cocaine addiction in the 1980s. A horrific accident in 1999 that almost cost him a leg. Through it all, he never stopped. No! Dropping new hits year after year. Misery was my first Stephen King book. Oh, okay. My dad had me read it. We did a cross-country trip in 1988. Uh -huh. I was just texting with him this morning. He's like, back then, I didn't even know who Stephen, he was, he, he was like the young upstart. Uh -huh. Yeah, I was. You know? I was. It changed me, though. <laughs> I hope for the better. Absolutely. 100%. Mm -hmm. Was Misery before or after you got sober? Before, but I knew what was wrong with me at that time. And uh, uh, Misery keeps uh, Paul Sheldon prisoner, and uh, she's just his number one fan. That's why she does it. It's fan love. And, uh, you know, Coke and Booze love me, so they almost love me to death. But I knew what was wrong at that, at that time, and I'm sure that there's a subtext there. More than 20 years ago, King gave readers an extraordinary insight into his process in a memoir that became an instant classic, On Writing. I guess it occurs to me, we're probably making you do this interview during normal writing time. Yeah, I would be writing otherwise, but what I'm doing isn't going all that, that well, so I'm happy to do it. So we gave you an escape. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. It's a day off. It's an O-day. But doing interviews is hard, too, because at the end of it, I always feel like, do you remember after you took the SATs? You know, I, I feel like I've been kind of like strip mined and, and... Do I make you feel that way? I don't talk about these things as a rule. We talk about these things and I make up a bunch of bullshit. But that's part of the reason why you did on writing, though. Yeah. Was because you wanted to talk about the process and nobody talked about the writing. Or were you bull****? 
when you gave that answer. No, I wasn't really bullsh** when I gave that, that answer. I always think, I do believe this to my heart, you write to learn about yourself. Stephen the It, please, on the bottom. Stephen. Stephen. BS or not, all of King's number one fans still can't get enough. I'm gonna fall down, guys, you gotta stop Steve, pushing me. By no means is Holly his last planned book. King says he won't stop until God stops him. All using a timeless formula. Write what he likes to read. My idea of the perfect book for me as a reader is one where I don't want to stop. I want to continue on into the early hours of the morning and uh, I don't want to skip dinner. I want to read at dinner, whatever. I don't want to watch the latest thing on TV. I just want to read that book. And when that works, man, that's silk. That's great.